Hey. There we are. There we are. That's worked seamlessly, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's gone too smooth already. Yeah, too yeah. smooth. <laughs> How good. How are you guys doing? You good? Yeah. 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 Very good. Thank yeah. you. We are very warm. Yeah, it's um, toasty. It's it's really nice to have so much sun, but yeah. it's also kind of a surprise. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> How are yeah. you doing? Yeah, I'm good. I'm just uh, if you, I don't know. If, hopefully, you can't hear the fan in the background, but that's blasting me with cold air, so it's it's all good. Yeah, you're all good. Right. We have yeah. one behind the phone, which we ah, okay, yeah. for life. <laughs> yeah, that, we feel very like superstar, but I don't yeah. think that <laughs> <laughs> it might have to come on. <laughs> cool. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry I ruined your bank holiday. To be honest, I forgot it was when I was doing the scheduling, and then I was like, uh, it's my only <laughs> slot left, so. No, not at all, cool. thanks for having us. No problem, no problem. So, let's just, so how is it you pronounce your name? Is it Cell or? Selly, yeah. Selly, so, yeah. Um, short for Marcelli, but yeah. people sometimes call me Sally. Starbucks tends to do that, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a variation, Mars, M, Selly. But I've said Selly for so long now that I think people forget my full name is That's Marcelli, right. yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Will, Will, yours is just W I L L no drama. Will. Yeah, super yeah. simple. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Uh, like, yeah. So I, I've never really sort of spoke to you guys, met you guys, had almost no interaction with you. I don't think until uh, Sherelle perfectly planned for you. Uh, kind of reached out and said you guys would be uh, maybe great to have on. So I went on, checked your stuff, and like, you guys have got that kind of that grade, that coloring that I personally really like in photos. So. Um, and Thank because of, because there's two of you, like I really kind of like to see uh, photography videographers who have that approach of of being more than one person and kind of how that can feed in and what that what advantages or maybe even disadvantages you know sometimes uh, that can bring to the table. So I always find that really interesting. Um, so yeah, thanks for thanks for jumping on. Yeah, pleasure. pleasure. Thanks for having so, us. So we'll try and like. Um, I'm not really going to talk about Corona too much because I want to just do it more like a, a general thing about, you know, your guys' business, uh, how you get involved with videographers on the day and stuff. And then, you know, we'll go from there type thing. So nice, nice, simple questions. We'll probably do like 40 minutes, maybe an hour, an hour max. Uh, that seems to be like a good, good length. So, yeah, cool. Let's just jump in then. Awesome. Um, so the beginnings, like... How did it come about? So do you want to tell me maybe your stories individually first to get in cameras or did it, did you get together first and then you kind of went with the camera thing? How did that work? Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, quite a conventional, like, husband and wife duo story. Um, <laughs> yeah. I started probably since I was about six or seven. Just my dad um, takes photos and he's a massive photo geek. Okay. So I would always steal his cameras from his study <laughs> when he wasn't there and get in loads of trouble. And yeah. I was fascinated with it. And I think because it was probably like I'd get in trouble every time, it made it more exciting. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's always been a hobby. Um, like teenage years, stuff studied at school. Um, and then started shooting weddings um, kind of around the time I left university. So 2014. Okay. So what uh, what took you into weddings? Was it just you needed to make some money and that was like the first thing that came to mind or was it a it bit was, more uh, thought, a bit more yeah. you, you've seen that and you wanted to shoot it? Kind of a combination, I guess. I, like I love people, yeah. but I didn't really connect that with being a wedding photographer. So I didn't necessarily aspire to, you know, when I was shooting stuff, I was just shooting whatever made me happy. Yeah. Because yeah. I never really thought I could make the decent <laughs> money. <laughs> decent money off it. Um, but it, yeah, it was literally just at uni uh, a sister of someone I live with said would you be willing to shoot our wedding uh, and has said you know we've got a little bit of money and um, okay. yeah it was scary but yeah. I did it <laughs> <laughs> so you got you got paid for your first one that's that's good that's the exception almost yeah it was, <laughs> yeah it was great actually and I think um, they were very keen to say you know you know, you're a friend, but we want to kind of support you. And um, oh, being, being a poor student, it felt like a load of money at the time. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so did you do that together or was that just you on your own? No, that was still me. So we hadn't yeah. met. Um, okay. And then, yeah, so I, I went into um, sh uh, photographing weddings um, and then teamed up with a really good friend of mine for a couple of years where we, um, he photographed, he's a great photographer, and I'd film. Okay. And we'd offer that as like a duo package. Okay. Um, and then when we got married, I think Selly had like 
you'd never really touch the camera. <laughs> yeah, like it was it was kind of crazy. So I, I always told everyone whenever Will would tell what his profession was, um, I would always say that I live my photography dream like vicariously through Will because mm -hmm. I just thought it was something that I could never do. Like I just thought it was, and obviously it, it takes a lot of skill and craft and I am learning every day. And I think Will says that even though I think he's incredibly talented. But um, right. yeah, it's, it's one of those things that I just didn't think could be achievable like especially I didn't do it at uni like I am more of a like a copywriter project manager role. Okay. that's what I initially okay. um like uh, studied and went through and uh, through uni and into work um and it was we started dating and I'd known that you'd take photos and I loved it but you know didn't really think that I could ever come close yeah. and we got married and we started talking about what it would be if we joined forces because at that point I asked Will to kind of you know teach me a few things and even when I was a bit scared and you know kind of pushed me out of my comfort zone to just take photos of anything and everything first um and then we had I think it was September I forgot which year with Carolyn and Ellie October October yeah we ended up uh shooting our first wedding together um because I think that the person that you were going to shoot with couldn't make it anymore yeah it was a last minute like yeah. One okay, yeah, yeah. Um, and I said to Sally look I don't care if you don't get any shots but it'd be great if you can come and try yeah um, just one one will do one yeah will do. actually like just if you could be there at the end of the aisle when they walk down and just get a photo that's, a photo, yeah. that's all in and actually after that wedding we end, obviously i was teaching her how to use the camera yeah. but she already knew what a good photo was um which was amazing and really encouraging to see like even when we were preparing to get married Sally was sending me photos from uh, our photographer Hin's page being like, oh my gosh, I love the vibe, I love this, I love the framing. And you kind of know, you can tell when someone knows what a good uh, photo is. Yeah, and actually, yeah. she ended up, I think about over a third of the photos we delivered from that first wedding we shot together. <laughs> oh, so, nice work, nice work. Yeah. I mean, to this day, I'm so grateful that, like, because obviously we told our couple what had happened and if they'd be okay with, you know, me, me shooting okay and, okay um i think you know transparency obviously super important and they were yeah. they were such like a great support they were so kind about it they were like no absolutely like uh, and i think it just it made it even more special because obviously i was already nervous but you, know, you put your a, a game on and you yeah, want to yeah. do the best um and the fact that they trusted us you know in what kind of was this kind of scary moment for them um and they were happy with their pictures it's just like yeah i was elated <laughs> It's a great moment, isn't it? It's a great moment. <laughs> so, like your your skills must they seem like they could be quite complementary then, though, uh, from your copyright and stuff, because that's such a massive part of you know getting getting the bookings and stuff in the first place. So, like, how do you do? You still do you still very much bring that to the table, or yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure, yeah. So, <laughs> Will's always like, "You're the writer, not me." Just yeah, in yeah. general, like <laughs> even when it comes exactly. to like. I don't know, you have a problem with something and you have to email, you know, about a complaint. He's like, oh, <laughs> I can sort that out. Or, no. yeah, no, I think it's been, it's been really fun, like, working together. It was a big, it, it was a big kind of, you know, jump to go from, obviously, dealing as a, as a married couple and, a, like, being together to doing business. But, yeah, doing copy and kind of having that more of a, I guess, copywriting slash project management side has yeah. definitely been a huge benefit because it's something that comes a bit more naturally to me to you know put together either you know um words for a brochure or writing up blogs or um whereas that's something that Will's like a little bit not so keen on <laughs> even though he wants yeah. to do it he's just like oh you know I think you're best at it um whereas <laughs> when it comes to like the more practical side of things on the day or I have technical questions like he is my mentor okay, <laughs> um yeah. and i think it works really well together so yeah that's a, that's, a, that's a dream yeah sure, sure. That's a dream. <laughs> never having to write again that would be magic <laughs> i still uh, think to do it though i'm like no i, I want to see three blocks on my table <laughs> so in, te in terms of your branding then like how did you how did you get to to that point have you gone through any did you have i imagine like a kind of very sort of basic website at first or did you go straight away into you knew this is what you wanted the look and the feel of your brand to be how did how did that come about so we spent probably that running up to that first wedding we shot together about six months um and then the couple of months afterwards to finish out 28 7 18 18 mm, I think so, yeah. yeah just thinking kind of dreaming what yeah. it would look like and um we yeah we put a lot of thought into how do we want to 
cut ourselves across that's kind of as natural as possible because I think it's so easy when you're starting something new or maybe you're trying to build something up that you've been doing for a while to just look at what the people left right of you are doing and copy it mm -hmm. um, but we wanted to make sure that the people who turned up on the day were the same people that were on the website and the same people that emailed rather than pretending to be you know yeah. whoever yeah. we wanted to be <laughs> um, but we actually ended up um, spending a day with a couple who are wedding photographers called the Springles okay. um, and they're great friends of ours and um, we know them from church in Guildford and they did like a branding workshop with us for a day and it was it's so good like it it propelled us forward in terms of website as well yeah. Um, yeah. Ash used to work in marketing so he helped us set up like a WordPress website and think about SEO and things like that yeah and it was the best best thing okay. I, I think we've done to start our business yeah, yeah it was it was really helpful like we had it's like we had all these ideas and things that we've you know we we wanted or we thought would be the best way to represent us and then we had our workshop with them and they kind of helped us piece together like what do you think you know is is really you or what do you think will be a priority um and I like that's we're so grateful for that because you know they didn't tell us be this they were just showcasing us like yeah. how do you tap into you know like you said having this brand and this fit that is true to you and true to yeah. us um and I think that's really important I think we will always value just generally in life having mentors let alone in your business like yeah. I we couldn't recommend that enough um and so like, after having spoken with them and like kind of doing our own thing uh like, putting together stuff we ended up worked really hard on like our first website because it was comp it, the business that you had with your previous partner, like even stylistically was different uh, in terms of, you know, uh, editing style. And it was a whole new kind of ballpark. It's almost starting yeah, afresh. Yeah. Yeah. So what does that look like for us as a husband and wife team um, now? And so it, you know, it was a progressive journey. And I think we're still, we're still working on it. And I think everyone is, always is. Yeah. Um, but, so you, th you yeah. think doing that, doing that workshop kind of sort of helped you kind of skip maybe like two two years or something like that almost of like kind of floundering around just trying to find yourself. It was like, no, we just do what we're told here. You know, we're <laughs> yeah. going to apply ourselves to the to the framework and then we're going to go. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. it's good. It was it's almost good, like yeah. the. It's almost it's like when you're 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 facing a problem and you just need someone to bounce an idea off. Or yeah, we it's quite easy to be um, if you're just chatting even by yourself if you're launching a brand just get in a circle in your head and you don't really know where to what to to do um yeah. whereas Kat and Ash were literally we sat we spent 20 minutes in quiet writing down what defines us what is unique about us what's our vibe what do we want to deliver and then they were like put that on a website <laughs> <laughs> and it was the kick in the bum we needed which is perfect. Ah, okay. <laughs> so was this, this a one-to-one -one or was it like a group there was other photographers there or just you two uh, so we were able to have a one-to-one -one session, but they do offer them as like a, like a small group. You could, okay. uh, they do these workshops. They recently moved to Cornwall, so that's where they're based at the moment. Um, okay. But like, we can totally recommend the workshop. Like, it's fantastic. Um, it's also worth saying that when, before I even started doing wedding stuff with, um, with Will, I actually used to, like, uh, Johnny MP used to hot desk with with the company that I used to work for. Oh, okay. And he is an amazing photographer. Like, I don't know if you know him, but he's fantastic. And he's really nice, like super genuine guy. And I think someone like him as well, actually inadvertently gave so much advice because of just how he like saw his own company and his own brand. Yeah. Um, and even when we told him that we were planning on launching this, like he also gave some words of wisdom mm -hmm. and, you know, it aligned with what Ash and Kat said. So I, I think it was just having these kind of really strong based people with great advice and with experience, they definitely, I think, propelled us to a place where we feel a lot more comfortable doing what we do in such a quick pace. Yeah. Because yeah. they've set us up for a win as well. So yeah, it's good mentals. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that you were, kind of, you were like humble enough to take that advice. You know, people, people sometimes go to workshops and stuff and then they're like, I've been there, I've listened to it, but like, I'll, I'll just do this myself type thing. So it was really, it's really good that you were, you know, able to embrace that and, and run with it and you know obviously sort of reap the rewards of of having that so that's yeah no that's well done um so what is like what how do you guys work on the day then is it very much like will you're always with the the bride or the sort of part, partner one type thing or how does how does the, the split work on the day in terms of <laughs> yeah, like, um, 
so we we do a pretty conventional split so um Sally hangs out with the girls in the morning okay yeah we, makes sense makes sense yeah. makes sense she's great she's a yeah. an encourager and she gets stuck in so oftentimes yeah. I will meet up later and the girls will be all like, oh my gosh, Shelly sorted out my makeup. Or like, you know, <laughs> I'm like, how do you have time to do all this? But somehow she does it. Yeah. Uh, and, then, and then I hang out with the boys um, and we, we don't have like a set limit on hours for the day. Okay. So uh, it's super flexible around um, whatever, you know, uh, whatever's going on in the day. And actually one of our grooms has just joined. Hi, Fraser. Hey, Fraser. <laughs> also, hi, Hatch. <laughs> have, you, have, you have, shot, have, you shot, have you shot his wedding yet? Or is he yeah, to come? Yeah, 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 yeah. we've done it. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool. Re- almost. It's been, a, it's been a year now. Mm-hmm. So anniversary not long ago. Ah. Fraser, <laughs> so, yeah, if, you've got so any, if, if he's got any questions, I'd love to hear I'd love to hear a question from that. He can, he can give Fraser us a live jump review in. on how well we do. Yeah, please do. <laughs> please do. <laughs> um, yeah, so we split in the morning um, and do prep separately. Um, and then we meet up. Actually, it's at the ceremony time, wherever mm-hmm. the ceremony is. Um, yeah. That's when we'll end up. Hey, thanks, oh, thanks. <laughs> um, yeah. And then uh, for the rest of the day, we're together. So couple shoot, we shoot together. Um, yeah. It's really handy. Like even down to having someone. If one of us is primarily shooting that particular setup or whatever. Yeah. Um, if it's me, Sally can grab a bouquet or sort the dress out. There's just another pair of hands, or we just get different angles for the like more candid times. So yeah, I can imagine it speeds. It's well, I know from like because there's two of us, so it, it it definitely speeds up. Like one of us is on like an 85, the other one's on, I don't know, 35 or something. You know, so you, yeah. you you're not wasting that time with a couple. Like at that yeah. point, it's just like, oh no, we're going to get we're shooting the same thing like together, and you can work out this kind of the sequence in your head and stuff. So yeah, it definitely speeds it all up. So do you have uh, different parts of the day that you both like to shoot? Like, uh, you know, that complement each other. So maybe, yeah. maybe Sally, you like the prep stuff more. Well, maybe you like the dancing stuff more. And then that almost goes together to make the full package like be amazing. Yeah. Or, is, oh, or do you like the same stuff? <laughs> I think we, I think we like the same stuff. But I think yeah. in terms of like specific shots, we're different. Like, okay. um, so I think we both love a good couple shoot, but I think a good couple shoot isn't necessarily like an edgy one, if that makes sense. Because I think that's really easy to say and be like, oh, they look so romantic and lush, but you know, not every couple feels comfortable in front of the camera, right? So mm-hmm. I think couple shoots are great because that's often when you see your, your couples interacting and you know being all cute and married together. Mm-hmm. and. Um, you get great photos of them when they're in their most natural kind of state. And I think often, especially when they have ideas of as to where they want to do their couple shoots. So even if it's on the grounds of a property, but they are, are really keen for it. If they're keen, like we're even more keen <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, because it can be quite scary for them. And, you know, we often always tell our couples like, let's do an engagement shoot because then you get to know us and how we work. Um, <laughs> thanks, thanks, Timmy. <laughs> Um, I think there's a different, a slightly different approach in the evening. Yeah. So dance floor, um, depending on the venue, tends to be technically more challenging for us. Yeah, so, sure, definitely. Um, yeah, like we we use one uh, off-camera flash, which we sync with both our um, flashes on camera. So I'm setting that up and making sure it's all going okay, and I almost just deploy Selly onto the dance floor. <laughs> so, <laughs> so good at blending in and. But also getting. It's because really... I'm dancing too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, we both love a boogie, but I'm six foot three, so I tend to stick out slightly. <laughs> but yeah, so it's almost just send her off, and uh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, photos come back are amazing. She's right, <laughs> she's on like a wide lens, and um, we we don't get stuck into it. No worries. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So that's I think that's probably one of Sally's strengths is um, is that the really candid interaction, and I think maybe because you. It, well, you're not so fresh now, but back when you were super fresh, you just do what you do at a wedding, which is just get completely Have stuck a good in. Time. Not, there's not <laughs> yeah. that like I'm a photographer barrier, yeah. and it's kind of that's rubbed off on me as well, which is awesome. So <laughs> okay. that's good. That's good. That's good. So how does um, like let's let's jump back a little bit before the day. Like how are how do you get most of your inquiries? How are couples reaching out to you? And what's the process in the build up? Do you meet your couples? Do you do engagement sessions always? Uh, how do we get to the day? day so most of our inquiries now come through website yeah so um and that feeds 
actually, in sorry, that. in terms of it comes through Instagram, actually, we've noticed. So we always ask in okay. our um, uh, questionnaire, oh, uh, where did you find us? And <laughs> the most amazing response has been like, obviously, the, our favorite is word of mouth or like a friend, because yeah. that's, that's it means you've done something good before. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that comes up top. And the second one is Instagram, which okay. is crazy, because, you know, it is a tool that we use, and people can see our work. But the fact that it's actually a source of you know people finding us and then in inquiring is quite crazy and quite cool <laughs> yeah, yeah. um so you know that's definitely worth crafting and working on mm. um but that, that's how we've noticed you know that those two main places are, are how people come to us um usually you just inquire through the form that we have on our website and we try and make that really easy for people to do um once that happens we send our couples a brochure so um, on our website, we made it, we had a kind of conversation before about whether you put prices or not. And I yeah. think for us, it was actually important that we do because we wanted to manage expectations. Um, yeah. And I think that has been so valuable for us because no one has been shocked at how much we are or no one yeah. has, you know, asked us to lower our rate to a point where, you know, it's just not feasible. Uh, yeah. We've always had healthy conversations about price if we've had that conversation. Yeah. Um, I agree with you 100%. Now. Yeah, you know, I think it just, I think it's clear and it shouldn't have to be a secret. And yeah. um, we don't want to put people off, especially if you get like an amazing inquiry and they sound like the kind of couple that you would love their wedding. And, you know, you just don't fit in their, in their budget range. Yeah, not yeah. because yeah. we're trying to be difficult, but because it's just not feasible. Like we are a team of two. You know, we have to think about how we are competitive, competitively priced. Um, and that has been, you know, great for us to do that. So we still s definitely stand by that. Yeah. Um, once we send the brochure, couples tend to, you know, ask us a few questions. But meetups, again, something we have to talk about. With the amount of inquiries that you can get, especially in a particular time, yeah, yeah. it is very hard to meet with every single couple that is a potential for booking. Because sure. yeah. um, we always would want to prioritize the couples that have booked us. Because um, we always try and meet in person, go for a drink, catch up about the day. Um, and we'd rather be available for that. But, you know, it's not yeah. like we've never met up. We have done meetups with couples who just really wanted to get a feel for us. And it's happened in a month where we have had more capacity to do so. Um, you know, so it's not like a awfully strict rule that we would never. Yeah, yeah. It just it's depends. Just about, yeah, it just depends. And it's about how we can use our time, you know, best. Because we yeah. want to honor the couples who have booked us and who want to get to know us yeah for sure for sure so how much um so once a couple's booked and stuff let's just throw it onto videography for a little bit like are, are your couples always asking you for recommendations or will they often go off and find someone on their own and do they maybe come back and say we think we might like this this company what do you guys think is where where does that kind of come into it and yeah much? we we probably i think maybe 40 percent of our couples ask us um do you do videography? Yeah. Okay. Um, and probably because we used to. Yeah, because because <laughs> it used to be a thing, uh, especially friends or recommendations um, back from the time when we used to. Because they video. know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So there's been a couple of cases where we we've, we've uh, we've kind of enabled it to happen for particular people, oh, yeah. um, but for the most part, we say no. But we know a few really good um, people, and it's for us to recommend. It's got to be people that we kind of know like and trust because obviously yeah. you've been spending the day with them exactly um, but also they have a style that we know is a similar approach to ours yeah um we're very much um kind of flexible and relaxed and um like documentary based yeah we're not yeah. we're not there like moving people around grabbing people that kind of thing so yeah. if we ha if we had a videographer that suits that style i think that's when we work really well yeah um, yeah because that's that's definitely like just from my experience when it's the other way around it is it's it's not that you can't do it, but it just adds a layer of like challenge that you don't. Yep. You, and because you know that it doesn't have to be that way. It's yep. always that little <laughs> bit in your head thinking like, oh, if only we could just do this <laughs> yeah. or, or not do that and stuff. Yeah. Um, totally. Totally. <laughs> we've, we've been really fortunate to work with like some amazing videographers and people who are also friends. And okay. I think it's just gone to show that not only because we're friends, like, you know, we can have very honest conversations about, hey, like, you know, next wedding, can we just make sure that like we watch okay. out for this and that? Um, and it goes both ways, you know. Uh, and I think to be able to have those healthy conversations and not feel like you're attacking someone's profession yeah, yeah. or they'll take it, you know, super seriously, it's literally constructive. Like, something that we do after every wedding, like we'll get in the car, we talk about how good it was. And then 
immediately and maybe this is just like I don't know it's a thing that I like to do but I'm like what could we have done better you know okay. and like how could this have done how could this have been better and it could be from prep you know at home we could have done things earlier yeah. or whatever to the small things of the day and I think it's a, it goes back to being you know constructive so that we can grow and I think mm -hmm. having that with a videographer that you trust means that you're only going to work better together because yeah. For us, it's already, you know, you could say it's crowded in the sense that there's two of us. So there's mm -hmm. already two of us. If you're going to add a videographer, that's three. For example, with a confetti shot, I know for a fact that where I've not been happy with how we worked is that we both tried to get confetti shots and actually that wasn't needed. You know, it's... Yeah, it's, it's almost better to just let one get the proper yeah, shot. And, yeah, and we yeah. learned that from, you know, doing more weddings and actually being like, oh, yeah, of course I got these shots, but are they really it? Not yeah. really. And the ones that you did on your own actually work a lot better. Oh, and I think yeah. it's it's those kinds of conversations, especially then when you have a videographer as well, is really important. Um, and we want to make sure we're not doing things that will get in the way of them. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> because they're you know they're getting paid to deliver the best product yeah, that they yeah. can, um, and also the same great experience on the day. So it's it's very much a case of just having conversations at the start of the day, and you instantly vibe out what they're about and yeah for sure yeah not, it takes you like 30, 30 awesome. seconds <laughs> yeah definitely um, yeah, yeah. It's, it's handy having films like i don't know 30 odd weddings yeah so you bit. must be able to see it from that totally. perspective a bit which is yeah, yeah it's, it's you can see from the first three shots what kind of person they're going to be on the day because yeah, yeah, yeah. you just know what it takes to get those shots um so it's quite easy <laughs> <laughs> so, so every videographer who's going to work with you now will know that they're being judged <laughs> But we judge, we judge too, so. Yeah, it's nice. yeah, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> uh, so how would you, how would you do, like, I guess the, the most common flashpoint, well, that, that people think is going to be the most common flashpoint is maybe the walk down the aisle or back up the aisle, uh, the confetti shot, and then how you work together on the, doing the portraits and stuff. So, like, from my perspective, I prefer to just kind of tag team in and out and just try and do it like seamless or while you guys were shooting something, maybe I'm just pulling like little details, like dress details or hand details, things like that, and just building my sequence like that. So how would, how would you guys do it ideally? Same way or do you, yeah. do you go for, do you want to take them first and split yeah, that time? Well, obviously um, points where you can't recreate anything such as aisle, you've got to just have a conversation and that yeah. has to happen before the ceremony. Yeah. Um, often there'll be a, you know, a camera on a tripod, so you know, okay, if they're on a 85 mil, you've got a bit of wiggle room either side, um, yeah. and you just say, what's the shot that you have to get? I think most of the time that we've worked with the videographer, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, the, the aisle shot is, we like to be kind of halfway and then work our way backwards. Okay. Yeah. And then the videographer often says, perfect, I'll, and we just stand next to each other. Yeah, yeah especially um, because sometimes what we try and do is, um, one of us are tr is trying to get the shot of, um, you know, they celebrate, they, they kiss again, and they're about to walk out. So, you know, we take a few shots of that. So one of us is like in front of them almost, and then yeah. the other is on the aisle bit. And I think that's where you'd be able to have both you and the videographer just working, you know, after having that conversation of working together. Um, so that, cause we all try to be out of each other's way too. So, and yeah. we have to talk about that. So when we have a videographer, especially in a small kind of venue, that conversation just has to be had. And yeah. I, I totally agree. It's like, there are some things that, you know, we just need to get in that moment. And there are some things that I remember, for example, when we were working with Patrick and um, I needed to get some stuff during the prep. And I was like, I just really need to take some of these, these pictures right now. And he was filming that in terms of like from another angle. And then he went back to doing, you know, like flat lays that I'd left there. Else, yeah. And it was, it was just really helpful because I wasn't then in any of those shots like with my yeah. fingers everywhere <laughs> and he was in any of those and it I think it just really comes down to to chatting and it doesn't have to be long like we have to chat, talk to each other mm. like yeah. the minute that we've um like come together after being at both different prep places we're at the church or we're at the the place that they're getting married Will's usually gotten there a little bit earlier because the boys are obviously usually yeah, always yeah. ready <laughs> um and he'll have scoped it out and he'll have spoken to the vicar the pastor the the, you know, the person doing the ceremony and talk about the angles that work that don't usually the videographer is there too so you'll have already spoken to them so it, it becomes a case of like small threads but good threads mm -hmm. of communication yeah, yeah. I think makes it definitely feasible to have both of us there yeah, yeah. 
I guess, yeah, I'd never thought of it before, but yeah, I guess because there's two of you, you're more aware of jumping in shots and, and that that important like 20 second conversation that has to happen before things yeah. go ahead. Yeah, that's right. I have yeah. definitely featured in some photos where <laughs> people's taking it and I'm like, oh, it's so great. And he just points at the screen and he's like, what's that in the corner? <laughs> and it's like, just my hand. Yeah, that's like, but yeah, and as Had said in the comment there, it's like, it's all about being discreet while you do it. You don't want to yeah. have yeah. any kind of, you know, big discussion at the front of the aisle when the guests are watching. You, yeah. Yeah. Like photo from there. Yeah, you've got to be flexible. And it's all silent as well. Yeah. Exactly. You're talking, yeah. So, yeah. And then the couple shoot is where, actually, I, I often prefer having a videographer there because mm -hmm. they're, I mean, as yeah. when you work in a couple, sometimes there's scenarios where you're like, mind blank and you're like okay we need to do something cool here or whatever and then Sally will be like let's do this but with a videographer there's so many times where they mm. um often there's more movement involved so I'll get, yeah, get, yeah. get a couple to walk through sun sun or whatever um or in front of something nice and you're like can we just do that again because that's a great <laughs> shot and i'm stealing yeah. that <laughs> and that's totally it's, fine yeah it's fine to do that it's fine to do that. i've done it enough times the other way around so. <laughs> yeah yeah. Uh, <laughs> so uh, and you've got to share like eating times with them and stuff so you've got to just yeah. get on with them as well like it's a massive thing just the personality and stuff and just being Definitely. a nice person and things like that uh okay so what would you this is like a biggie so it's, it's, usually i've had some good answers so no pressure okay like if if you're remembered for one thing by your couple whether it's your actual photo for uh, photography skills or your personable skills or a combination of everything what would you want your one couple to take away or describe you as or say you know how would they recommend you what would what would be the most important thing that you got across to your to your couples so i, I think that. maybe there's two prongs and i'll do one you can do that one. Okay. one is <laughs> the end product so the 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 photos they see for the next 60 years yeah. and that we always want them to see themselves as they truly are so not oh there's me when i'm really starving hungry and i've been put in this weird like strange because <laughs> that's not that's not i want on the wall I, want me and Sally. I don't want a version of me and Sally that someone made me into yeah yeah so we've got, got one we've got up uh, um i don't know like, if him is still, yeah. is still is one. our is wedding one. photographer had joined for a little bit um but it's yeah it does do it. so this is our like the main one we have up is just all of us doing us <laughs> yeah yeah that's the thing good fun so there yeah we go. And that for us is the what we want our photos obviously it's fun it's all the little moments but it's honest so um yeah. but in terms of us as a duo what do you think um yeah i think authenticity and like what you said you know honesty but i think also um just joyful like a joyful spirit uh, mainly because we really wholeheartedly believe in marriage like and being committed to one, one another um and so when people choose to make this decision it's like the best thing ever and we love it and we know how much fun it is and that's why part of our i don't even want to say slogan it's just like what our motto that we live by it's like the yeah. start of your greatest adventure yet um because it is you know it, you're stepping into the unknown with this person and we when we're there capturing people we are so happy that we get to a be a part of that and they would choose to trust us to be there um and b that they're putting this decision you know out for everyone to see and to celebrate it um yes 100 percent, like those authentic joyful uh, authentic honest photos but i i would love for our couples to just remember how much like joy we were able to bring to that day yeah, and to yeah. celebrate with them um because Definitely. it it does mean a lot to us and, and and by the end of the day like we we know our couples very well and we get to have hung out with their family with their friends and that's really special because you know people can get married and especially on instagram it can feel like it is for the hype but yeah, yeah. you know please don't get married for the hype like that's our advice <laughs> you know like do it because don't you get are, married for the yeah hype. like don't get married for the hype unless you it's can, an eternal hype yeah unless you're on that hype eternally which we believe we are <laughs> but um you know do it because like, you believe in that and if we can have you know that time with couples and they can see the joy that comes out of what we do for our craft but also for what it is as a, as a concept as a thing which is awesome then I'm I'm happy. Yeah.
Yeah, good. Yeah, definitely. Um, okay, so we touched on Instagram earlier, and that's kind of where a lot of your leads and stuff are coming from now. Like, do you guys push for publication and awards and things? What's your general feelings around that? Like, I noticed on you, you guys got your own wedding featured on Whimsical, or yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so, so how, I mean, like, yeah. I... No, go ahead. So. Yeah, sorry. So uh, j just for instruction this, because I also see that Arij is here and she's amazing. And I uh, used to work with her and she is like an amazing head of SEO. And okay. I've learned so much from her and with her because I used to work for, um, or st still do part time for um, a SEO agency, a creative SEO okay. agency. Okay. So for us, where we can, we try to do things organically. So we want to, you know, rank in the right places, but for the right reasons, if that makes sense. Yeah. So we don't necessarily do a lot of paid like posts or pay to, to be anywhere. Um, we try to do that naturally. Um, do you do things like styled shoots and stuff? Yeah, so oh, yeah. we do styled shoots and obviously submit them um, to places that we think they would fit to. Yeah. Um, and that's, that's like also a good way of us expressing our creativity, I think, too, and being able to appeal to couples who may have not seen a wedding like that for us before, from us before, but know that we would be more than happy and more than able to, to shoot something like that. Um, in terms of awards, I, it's a tricky one. Like, yeah. and, I, and I feel this way about other like sort of agency, because the agency that I do that sometimes puts themselves forward, but like paying to be in awards, like, I don't know. I think it's it's a great accolade to have, but I think I, I love seeing and I trust a lot of photographers who have like featured in blah, 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 because mm -hmm. someone went out of their way to be like, I really like this work and it, it, it deserves to be like shown anywhere and everywhere. Um, we ended up having our style shoot get featured on Confetti Magazine, not because we even applied, they got in touch with us. Oh, and that wow. was a huge honor. Um, completely blew us like away because <laughs> they really liked it. And I think yeah. that is, I think proof of, you know, I would rather personally, we would rather get that. But that's not to say that the industry that we have with awards isn't invaluable because i know that yeah. it's important um and they do look at very important metrics to award these to people but i think we're more of the feature on like websites see who get, covers you in a natural way as much as possible we're happy <laughs> yeah, yeah just uh, it that sounds like that, that it just aligns with your whole approach almost doesn't it it's just authentic natural you know this is this is what you get if you like it then fantastic if you don't then no worries but you know, this is this is who we are, and this is this is us. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. It's really good. Um, okay, so what's the hardest part of your job? Is it on the day? Is it the business nah, side the of day things? Is, the day is, is like it... game day. That's <laughs> yeah. I I'd love. To, I mean, if I had the energy, I'd do a wedding every single day of the week. <laughs> I think he's got a lot of energy. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> um, that's a great. I think the. Yeah, the hardest part is um, the best part of is the day and is right. the, the people and the, the experiences that you come away with and that you've captured. The hardest part is the experiences <laughs> you want to forget for the rest of your life. <laughs> Not necessarily, okay. Have we had a few of them? Sometimes, you know, sometimes you make a mistake <laughs> and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it did that. And actually, it's not that big yeah. deal. But it's the, it's the miscommunications with couples or the couples that the couple drive you down and yeah. want to get you for 500 quid and yeah. you're like i can't do that and it's really rough because you feel like you're being mean and you're like you're being unreasonable but actually you know you've got to value yourself enough to yeah, yeah. um if you, that, if you I mean, take that yeah. yeah and i and i like i absolutely hate that kind of well it doesn't like and, conflict any of those yeah. things I'm like, <laughs> I'm like you know what let's talk on the phone let's do this and he's like oh my god <laughs> I just and I think it's a I think it's a defensiveness I think not just of us as people but actually of our you know of our craft and as an industry as a whole because even when we've had other people kind of slag off a photographer a videographer for not reducing their price or whatever like we often get quite defensive about that because we're like well you know this yeah. is this is where they're at and this is their livelihood um you know you can of course you can try and ask but don't expect that to you know to them yeah just bow and do whatever you mm -hmm. ask because that's not how this works and I think the most unpleasant times and luckily we have not had 
a lot of them, yeah. and I'm so grateful for that, has been couples who have just been on a completely different wavelength to us and mm -hmm. have, you know, either tried to make us create work that isn't how we work, which, yeah. again, as you can imagine, does not sit well with us because it's not very authentic. <laughs> yeah. We will not change our editing style for one person's wedding or, you know, they'll just have an issue with something down the line rather than, you know, talking about it at the beginning. And, and we try and be as transparent as possible yeah. when we book couples because they don't have to have any worries about what they're getting. Like what you see is what you get. Um, I think that can be the hardest because you're dealing with people and, you know, it's not just any old day, right? It's their wedding day. Yeah. So stresses are high. People are concerned. They have finances to, to think about all those things, but it is very, it's not very nice when you have to like deal with those kinds of conflicts to say the least. That's not very fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's hard. It's definitely hard. And much, yeah, like you say, much better to just be upfront and be like, this is, this is it. Cause it was, you know, there's nothing worse than, I don't know if you guys did it, but you know, when we first started and you, maybe you take those bookings where you've been haggled down a little bit and then you turn up on the day and almost those ones are always the hardest ones to they shoot. Are. And it's, you know, if people need to get, you as a person you as a brand and you know just trust in you to do your thing and that's that that's how they're going to get the best out of it it's not yeah. micromanaging and you know just he paid all that money like we're professionals like let us let us do our thing and and it'll benefit you ultimately as 100%, a couple. yeah you literally said it all yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay uh if anybody's got any questions that's watching please jump in because i'm like kind of getting towards the bottom of my, my list now. I'm, jump, I'm, I'm jumping around a little bit now as well, which is annoying. That's okay. Um, so how many weddings do you do a year? Do you cap it? Um, what's the most you've ever done? Did you regret doing the most you've ever done? Uh, yeah. Well, 2020 was going to be the... <laughs> the big one. Know, we're not going to <laughs> tease out too much, but uh, we were going to have shot 27 yeah 27 this year it's gonna be a nice... and may may was gonna be our busiest so it'd been five in a month oh wow so, you... um, so it's every weekend and then what was on a friday yeah okay. um and that's the most I've, i would have ever done um not normally like i think for the last few years i've done uh, anywhere between 15 and 20 which feels nice but yeah, it's, uh, it's, again it's good. yeah it's it's getting enough for you to be able to actually live and eat and invest in gear and all that stuff yeah i think that's the biggest um, thing it's like being able to invest in your craft because it's not necessarily a cheap one <laughs> yeah. yeah definitely and, you know it, keeping things highly professional like our, our site is completely you know built on like wordpress but then on flow themes and so making sure that everything that we exude is of high quality level but obviously that means making sure you can afford those things yeah. um, <laughs> and and obviously like we touched on before about whether we had different kind of you know sites uh, there's nothing wrong with starting somewhere if that makes sense just start it well i would say and, and for what that looked like for us was we would look like just something different for somebody else who's just starting but you know as long as you do it well it can be simple but it it does the job and i think for us it was the investment side behind things that you know is, is a big chunk of the finances but it's so worth it um but yeah oh hmm. oh a reach so she's just asked uh, oh that's a good what, one yeah that's a great question Ooh. what advice do you give for couples thinking of starting a business together uh i would well depending be on be careful where be careful yeah <laughs> don't do it guys <laughs> uh if, if you've if one of you or you've both separately been shooting for a long time then you know what to expect um, if you're like fresh, I'd say the best thing you can do is find a mentor or like a couple that, uh, okay, I'll give our example. For us, the Springles were in a lot of ways doing what we kind of in a few years want to be able to do. So they'd left full-time jobs um, and they'd obviously made massive sacrifices, but they were able to have a lifestyle where they have twin girls, they could spend lots of time with them, go and shoot. They had a great style, they had a great brand. And we were like, okay, that for us is what we're kind of aiming for. Obviously um, we want to be ourselves, but um, that's a great example. So we just asked, literally just asked them like, can you help us? <laughs> um, and I'd say that that's probably uh, beyond being realistic and not expecting it to be like the best thing ever in the first week, because um, yeah. there's a lot of hard work. I think you know, from a just a really practical level, I think maybe start out 
because if, it, if it's not photography, for example, if it's super photography related or it's like a smaller project, start on something small together and see how you work as a team. Um, because it's one thing to kind of sometimes be annoyed with how you do something or how I do something. Mm -hmm. But then generally on a holistic scale, be super like compatible to work together. Okay. I think, you know, start on a smaller level projects, start on maybe like if we're talking specifically photography, you know, a couple shoot and doing it together. Um, I think that's really important. And I think figure out what your strengths are and what your weaknesses are. Um, and not necessarily just, I'm not good at this, but it's, I think a, I really struggle with doing this. This might annoy you. So, you know, it, but it's true because like, Will for a fact knows that I like to chase for deadlines for this, for this, for that. How Will works is slightly different. And I, and we have to know how, no, you know, obviously he, he's great. That's why we're in business together, but it's knowing how things work best for one another. Um, just like you would with a general business partner, right? And I think mm. then you just have to remind yourself, this will translate to us also being under the same roof and also having a life together and making sure that that still is okay for you both. You know, I think that's, that's you got to make sure that you're not going to, it's not going to be to the detriment of your relationship. And that sounds really serious and deep, but like we would have never done this if we thought it would put our relationship at risk. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And that's a big big thing that's the most important thing that's why you got married Arie. <laughs> <laughs> so where do, where do you see the business in five years is it very much that sort of lifestyle that you guys are going for or do you want to grow it to be maybe more than the two of you or i think we we've we've kind of had this uh, conversation a few times about growing and um building the empire but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, i think there's something so personal about weddings and there's some, um, there's something so just unique about being there on a day that it's almost really hard to edit a wedding that I haven't shot. Yeah. And to then say, okay, we're going to roll that out. And for me, I, I don't think I could do it. Yeah. So I think, but what we know people who do and they do it really well. Yeah. Um, yeah. They can shoot four weddings on one day and deliver it with, on time, you know, and they're only in one and it's amazing. Yeah. But for us, I think we, cause we just jump both feet in and get it's stuck in. It's us. super personal, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. So I think for us, it's really, we want to be able to have, and the beauty of weddings is you, you're booked up a year plus in advance. So you can kind of map it out a bit, but um less so this year but uh you, you know we yeah we want to be at a stage where um the income from our weddings can support definitely silly side of you know salary and earnings um comfortably and then i also do freelance work in in film and yeah. photo so um i've got that kind of on the side as well so that for us is the first kind of goalpost and we're pretty close which is great Mm. Um, yeah I think one of the things with just the way of life and how we used to live like before we were together to how we did now it's we've always been super busy you know full and we've always felt like with this kind of career and this journey that we want to be on we can not only just develop our craft better and get better and better over the years but also have more availability to be with people like when we're not doing weddings and we're not doing blog stuff and I know that that's not necessarily like business related but I think for our business to thrive it's when our you know our personal lives and we've got time to see our family and friends because let's face it we do weddings on weekends right and that's probably yeah, we'll exactly. have a lot of their birthday parties they have yeah. baby showers summer barbecues yes yeah, summer barbecues oh, and you know when when these things <laughs> sounds horrible yeah, um when we can't make those at least we know that we're present in their lives in a different way um and I think it's finding that healthy balance like we have been we're, so like we're just generally so busy with everything that we, we do on the side as well. And I think being able to in the next five years plan our lives in a way where it's just, we have a poster that says live slowly. And I think that's what we're trying to, to do. You know, it's not be less productive. It's actually just be more intentional and less rushing. And I think building our business in a way where we can live that kind of lifestyle mm -hmm. is really important to us because it means that we're not rushing or doing our weddings because it's just there and we have to and uh um because we will lose that mojo like you'll lose that magic um, yeah. and equally being able to have that time on the side where you can enjoy time with your other halves you can you know you can spend time with family all that kind of stuff 
the things that are also very important in life when you're not working um, mm. is definitely the goal. Yeah. yeah, one thing, I think the lifestyle really kind of caught, so I've been full-time for like four years now, I think, maybe four and a half, and uh, like the lifestyle thing really kind of caught me sort of off guard of how much value that can bring to you. Just, mm. you know, ap- apart from those, say you're doing 25 weddings, you only really have to be somewhere 25 days a year the rest of it you can be you can be anywhere so I, I went to Spain and edited all my videos from Spain for a month last amazing. year and that was yeah. that was amazing and like I still ran the business and everything yeah um and it was it was really fantastic to be able to do that so yeah, that's really that's, special that's, that's what that's worth a lot um that kind of doesn't really get maybe well, it gets touched on but I think it's worth more than you think when it when it happens um, so true yeah definitely um so let's just wrap it up anybody who's got any more questions uh speak now or forever hold your peace <laughs> and uh what else i had one more i had one more uh... <laughs> oh i was doing so well i haven't had one blank the whole time you're so good um, i don't know i think it's gone i think it's gone Damn. uh it was it was just like a classic kind of sum up one so i guess um just if you had one piece of advice for uh clients to get the best out of you get the best out of a supplier get the best out of the day overall like what would you what would you say to the best piece of advice for for a client i mean i think you already kind of said it before and it is I trust us mm. um i think and I, and i don't mean that in an arrogant way like yeah. at all you know i think and we thankfully had amazing couples who, when they message us, they'll know about our work. They'll want to get to, you know, chat with us about the day. Like we're involved in, in like that whole planning of the day thing. Um, not as in like, we're not wedding planners, but yeah. you know, they're just very, they're just open with us. Um, they're open because I believe that they trust us and they want us to, you know, be a part of this. And I think when they do, we've always felt more confident because they're, they've, relied on us um and they're just quite relaxed because they're not what what you were saying before like they're not micromanaging they're not trying to tell us you know this that and that and don't get me wrong if 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 they they want a particular photo that they didn't tell us before on the day you know we will take that that's not a problem we're very (laughs) flexible um but i think it's it's a it's a trust between the, the the two that makes it so much easier because we have we can go full steam ahead doing what we love and you know, which is we want to give our best to these couples. And if they can see that and they can trust us to do that, the day is so, is the day is so fun together. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And for to add, Will, or are you just, are you agreeing? Yeah. No, I mean, I, yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean just agreeing. I meant, I meant yeah. agreeing. <laughs> no, what, what do you think? No, I agree. Yeah. It is about, yeah. it's about trust. And you, and you know, ultimately any issue really boils down to that is either you haven't been communicating properly or, someone hasn't thought to ask a question that is actually a great question and yeah. for whatever reason they haven't asked. So, um, yeah. And I think for couples generally getting married is just do what you want. Like we, yeah. our favorite weddings are ones that are so Absolutely. uniquely uh, X and Y that the two combination of people yeah. coming together, not, you know, what whoever in their family demands. Um, obviously that everyone's scenarios are different, but, um, yeah, <laughs> like just, uh, yeah, go for it. And, that's what we love capturing is like people being themselves and having them on. So yeah, for sure. Perfect. Perfect. Spot on. Okay. Well, that's, that's it then. Uh, Thanks for, thanks for joining me. Thank you so much for having us. We did 55 minutes. That was good. Perfect. (laughs) Perfect timing. Uh, (laughs) So yeah. uh, Any more plans for the rest of the day or just sitting in the sun? What's, barbecue yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. we're thankful to have a, a patio we live in, in a flat but we have quite a nice okay. patio and so we yeah, are excited. putting the meat on there and having a nice barbecue <laughs> nice 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 how about you <laughs> yeah same same i've got some chicken wings marinade and just now yeah, oh, so do we. So, <laughs> it's the best it's the best um, yeah so what i'm gonna do now is uh i'm gonna save this it'll be on the story and then I'll record it and get it on YouTube. So I'll send it on YouTube. And oh, I'm also going to re- re- repurpose the content for like a, a photography blog that I'm doing on the website, um, which Great. is going to be kind of an amalgamation of top points that everybody kind of said about photo video relationship and things like that. So, yeah, thanks for uh, um, thanks for coming on. Thank awesome. you so much. Cool. Thanks, everyone, uh, as well, for tuning in. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
yeah, it's fun. All right, yeah. cheers, guys. Thanks for yeah. that. Bye. See ya. See you later. Bye.